lay down your weapons and try picking up one of these totally unique co-op games. We all love a good multiplayer, whether it's to connect with friends or meet new ones. They're the perfect combination of socialising whilst also staying indoors. Any chance to hang out with friends while still wearing pyjamas is a chance we'll take. It doesn't always need to be your classic battle royale or first-person shooter, however. In fact, in this video we're going to be talking about some excellent and unique co-op games that are light on weaponry and heavy on wowing you and your friends, whilst still in your pyjamas, of course. Before we jump in, however, why not hit that subscribe button and perhaps even befriend the notification bell so you'll be kept up to date with all our upcoming videos. Yeah. Thanks, pal. It's probably for the best that we've gotten rid of the weapons, as first on our list is Moving Out, a wonderfully infuriating co-op game where you and your friends play as members of the Smooth Moves family, a chaotic good moving company that's nothing if not quick, and oftentimes they really are nothing other than quick. In each level, you'll be tasked with moving furniture, appliances, even livestock onto the moving van. And although you may start out with a plan, say to move all of the large items onto the truck first, or try and avoid smashing the windows whilst you do it, even to move all the items without having a single argument, well, let us be the first to tell you that in moving out, nothing ever goes to plan. <laughs> With plenty of characters to play as, lots of laughs to be had, and a dedicated slap button. Don't slap too hard. We don't need another lawsuit. We can't think of a more inventive multiplayer game to get stuck into with some pals. This is your first step to becoming a certified furniture, arrangement, and relocation technician. And relax. Next on our list is Stardew Valley, a glorious, relaxing farming sim where you move to your grandfather's farm and attempt to restore it to its former glory. The addition of co-op means you can now farm with up to three friends, who will live in their very own upgradable farmhouses. They can romance villagers, which can lead to some interesting conversations if you're both after the same eligible bachelor or bachelorette. There are plenty of ways to customise the experience too, from splitting the money or having a collective piggy bank, to deciding whether to live nearby on the farm and build it together, or have separate corners and, we assume, an unspoken rivalry as to who can farm the most impressive pumpkins. It's lovely, laid-back fun that feels a world away from the first-person shooters that we often associate with multiplayer. Right, that's enough relaxing for you, let's take things up a gear with everyone's favourite multiplayer car-based sports game, Rocket League. The sequel to the often forgotten supersonic rocket-powered battle cars, Rocket League is a brightly coloured, frantic co-op game where each player controls and customises their very own car, then attempts to use said car to score goals. After a few games of insisting you'll never get the hang of it, you'll find yourself trying to get elaborate trick shots and use the vehicular physics to your advantage. There are plenty of modes to choose from too, from basketball to ice hockey, so you're sure to find something that revs your engine. Want to mix things up? Just make the ball massive! That'll keep you and your friends putting pedal to the metal for hours to come. Order up! Next on the list we have Overcooked 2, a cooking co-op game with a dash of cuteness, a sprinkle of chaos and lashings of good fun. Published by the same studio as Moving Out, there are plenty of similarities between these two co-op experiences. You must communicate efficiently and work together with your teammates to complete tasks, in this case of the culinary variety. Dishes need to be prepared and sent out as quickly as possible, and Team 17 makes sure to put plenty of obstacles in the way of this seemingly achievable goal. From passing pedestrians to conveyor belts, hot air balloons to floating rafts, you'll have to think on your feet and chop like there's no tomorrow if you want to achieve the coveted 3-star rating for each level. There are also plenty of modes to choose from. So if you think playing on the same team is overrated, why not go head chef to head chef and see who really deserves a Michelin star? A 
Ahoy there, land lover! If you've always thought the pirate's life might be for you, then why not set sail in Sea of Thieves? In this co-op adventure game, you and up to three friends can captain your very own ship, hunt for treasure and explore the wide open sea. You'll start off by choosing your pirate using the state-of-the-art infinite pirate generator, before choosing their clothes, selecting your weapons of choice and perhaps even recruiting a fairy friend to accompany you on your journey. Each and every adventure is yours to create. Sea of Thieves is a completely open world with no set narrative, which means that you and your crew are free to dance to the beat of your own drum, sometimes even literally. Just watch out for sharks, okay? Plus, if you have Xbox Game Pass on your PC, you can take to the seas completely free. Ah, my favourite customer. Have an amazing voyage. If you're just too much of a good boy to sail the seas stealing booty, may we suggest fogs? Although, probably best not to mention booty to them, I'd imagine it's a bit of a sore subject. In Fogs, you play as a two-headed, no-legged canine pal, with each dog's head being controlled by a different player if you choose to take on the co-op mode. You'll have to solve puzzles and navigate obstacles with this energetic duo, Red and Blue. It's a soft, colourful world with a lovely sense of humour and levels themed around either sleep, food or play. The best three things, I'm sure you'll agree. So, if you're up for some light-hearted, silly fun, with puzzles that'll leave you feeling like you deserve a treat and a scratch behind the ears for solving them, it doesn't get any better than Fogs. If you look up the dictionary definition of a unique multiplayer game, you'll likely see one of these delightful little bean boys staring back at you. <laughs> Fall Guys is a unique twist on the battle royale genre that we're sure you've heard of by now. Each delightful little bean must go head to head, battling out across a series of tasks to be crowned the winner. You can play the team-based multiplayer mode or play it solo, which means you can still group up with friends to all be put in the same matches, but ultimately your jelly bean is a lone ranger, fighting to be the sole champion. What we're really trying to say is we won't judge you for grabbing one of your mates if it gets you over the finish line quicker. Ooh, 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 ooh. Plus, with every new season comes plenty of new levels to try, so it's never too late to give it a go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What better game to play when you and your friends aren't allowed outside than Grounded? In this co-op survival game, you'll be taking on the back garden, Honey I Shrunk the Kids style. You and your friends will have to build shelters, gather resources and fend off all manner of mini-beasts. Although don't worry, you can turn on arachnophobia mode to remove spiders from the creepy crawly equation. The back garden is a vast and perilous place. But with the right friends, you'll be able to create impressive bases and thrive amongst the undergrowth. There is plenty to explore, from underground tunnels to underwater areas. Don't mind me, Mr. Tadpole. And that includes our list of wonderfully unique games to play with your friends. Make sure to send this to your pals or pop it in your group chat so you can pick your next gaming adventure together. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video from us.